in this new theory hypothetical forests of unsinkable hate was drawn. And here's the thing. We found these photos. This is vandalic felling of the sequoias in the California Redwood in 1880 till 1920 that are survived by miracle in the planet's bombardment in 1816. Just imagine how much years this tree needs to grow up to these sizes. And then comes freaks with saws and axes. One, two, and no more tree. In the proportion of these trees we can see rule. Diameter of the stump is about three times bigger than woodcutter's growth. Let's look on this formula. You just think about it. You are entering the forest whose height is not usual 30 meters, but 100. Here's your fairy forest from fairy tales and books. Forests that are lost forever because of such barbarians. Here are our silicon trees. I want to introduce you the museum under the open sky. Stone trees here are just scattered in the desert and also fenced. Everybody today can visit this circus by the name Petrified Forest National Park. In this park petrified fossils are not common, they are unique. If turtles and frogs were petrified in pale grey boulders, then these trees morphed into semi-precious stones. Well, admired stonies, beautiful, isn't it? It is time to take a stock. All our forests are young and do not grow higher than 30 meters. Transmorphing wood into semi-precious stones, this is where the lies and ignorance becomes uncontrollable. Tell me, how, how stock of wood can become semi-precious stones? No answer, but I have. And did you pay attention how small the silicon trees are? They are incomparable even with sequoias of California. But this one is simple. They are not trees. They are branches of the giant silicon trees. And those trees were so big that American sequoias near them are like little stick near the baobab. Let me introduce to you. This is Devil's Tower, Mesa, or so-called Lacalis, that is formed from a magmatic melt from the Earth's deeps about 200 million years ago. At least this is how Wikipedia is telling us. And billions of people are believing in that this is Mesa, or Lacalis, or Mountain. Huh? Really? Let's come closer to our tree stump to look at his fantastically inexplicable columns. Let's look in Wikipedia once again. Igneous rock is formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. Huh? What a smart magmatic melt. He just stand and frozen in appearance of perfect hexagonal columns for 300 meters in the sky. You can synchronize your instruments on these miracle columns. Gentlemen scientists, are you out of your mind writing in this garbage? Humans, are you out of your mind believing in this garbage? Claiming that this geometrical masterpiece appeared as the result of lava fountain, the same bullshit as claiming that racing car appears on the track because of explosion on a Ferrari factory. Have you ever seen what fountain of lava looks like? In those times lava had artificial intelligence, huh? Really? 
comparative analysis. All columns are hexagonal. Why exactly hexagonal? Because universe's masterpieces are built in this form. There are no same snowflakes, but all of them are in perfect hexagonal shape. These two, without knowledge of mathematics, correctly identified that regular hexagon has least perimeter among all of the other regular shapes of equal area, so you can feel this shape most efficiently. I want to introduce you a cross section of the stem of flux. Well, well, gentlemen biologists, are you noticing anything? No? Look, seems like honeycombs in the middle. Oh, way! And they are all hexagonal. Well, well, what a coincidence. If we remove skin around this flux, our stump skin is already removed. Look at the small rocks around it. And guess what? Flux looks exactly like our stump from the bird's eye. They look identical. Exactly. Stump's fibers, like the fibers of the flux, has hexagonal shape that is strictly preserved its geometry along the entire length of the stem, and that is as much as 384 meters. I want you to pay attention that stump's fibers even stricter in their proportion that shame from the textbooks of botany. The fibers are no different for the whole length, but also relative to each other. The feeling that it is a branch of armature, hexagonal cross-section, after leaving the metal rolling mill. The fibers are not attached to each other, since freely exfoliate and fall as the stone erosion goes. Each fiber of our stump is covered by a thin skin, exactly like fascia, a thin shears of fibrous tissue enclosing a muscle or other organ. As you see, petrified skin contacting winds and moisture is cracking, exfoliate and show it. And this is direct evidence that fibers of stump are consist of at least two components placed in each other. Fibers do not go into the ground vertically. They are gradually bent to transform into the root system like every tree should do. And now let's find out the height of the tree, which this stump was one day. Let's use the formula that I mentioned earlier. The diameter of our stump is 300 meters at the base. If we sum 300 to 20, we will get the height of, are you ready? 6 kilometers. Just think about it. Everything is learned in comparison, isn't it? I think we can put a big fat dot in here. Devil's Tower is a giant stump of a giant silicon tree, with all attributes of a normal stump that everybody saw. Well, we figured out everything about this stump, let's move to another one. Yes, yes, and you thought that this is the only one. Let me introduce to you Giant's Causeway in Ireland. Noticed something familiar? Take a closer look. Again, these hexagonal columns. Whoa! If you do not notice similarity with the Devil's Tower's fibers, you must be 100% blind. This is the same giant stump, but now it almost do not comes out of the ground. This tree grew right on the seashore. Giant Causeway consists of almost 40 thousands of columns of such geometrical proportions that all the bees in the world will be jealous. Now, guess what official science bleeds about this Irish stump? Giant Causeway is an area of about 40,000 interblocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption! Ah! <laughs> Want to remind you how lava erupts and flows. And this is how it congeals.
And now let's compare Devil's Tower with Giant's Kusway. Oh, sorry for my French. I mean, let's compare Silicon Stump with Silicon Stump. Somebody still believes in the lava fountain? There are loads of them on the planet. The funniest thing that normal people do not realize that they are stumps. But official science realized seriously that they should find how to hide these trees from people who ask too much and invented genius name for silicon stumps, the basalt cliffs. I want you to pay attention to those two pictures, where fibers hang from like the ceiling. How can volcanic version explain this? Lava was dripping, dripping, but its drops didn't fall to the ground and other drops sticked by the hexagonal honeycombs to neighbor drops which somehow reached the ground. We saw many stumps, but this one is special. He has flat surface on top. It means that it was cut it down. Yes. Yes, exactly cut it. Or sewn. And now our imagination is asking us, who cut it? For what? With what they cut it? I will answer these questions lately. We will put this question into the background because this stump that was cut is not single one on our planet. I will tell you even more. Devil's Tower is small one compared to others. So, there are only two differences, material and size. These stumps are sticked out everywhere on the whole planet. There are hundreds of them. Scientists call them mesas. 
table from Spanish because they have flat peak, flat as table. 